Hi y'all, welcome to the Sugar Scoop. I'm sugar and cake artist Shelby Bauer, and today we're going to make these beautiful, translucent, shimmery, gorgeous fairy wings. They're just so pretty, and <laughs> they're perfect for any kind of fairy tale craft. You can make angel wings, all sorts of stuff. I do have a PDF download available on my website www.thesugarscoop.com It is three dollars. I have uh, four different wing styles, lots of different sizes, some tips and stuff in there. So, you know, buy me a coffee <laughs> for, you know, sharing um, my knowledge with you. That'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. So, so let's get started. I'm pouring cold water into a microwavable container. Then I'm pouring in the gelatin packet slowly while stirring. Use as many as you need until it becomes spongy. Don't worry about being exact. Avoid dry clumps. Let sit about 10 minutes until it becomes nice and bouncy. Then microwave it until it's melted and then let it sit for five minutes. Scrape the scum off the top until it's crystal clear. Mix with colors of your choice. Layer the PDF printout on top of some kind of plastic sheet. I like to use stencil sheets, but you can also use a large gallon plastic bag. I'm using Madame Lulu Smart Lace in pearl white mixed with a little green food coloring in a piping bag fitted with a number two tip and switching between a number one piping tip for smaller veins. I'm using one of my PDF printouts that you can find on my website and looking at bug wings for freehand inspiration for the smaller veins. Keep in mind, you need to make thicker lines for putting in wires later. Fill in the negative space with different color gelatin. Feel free to mix gelatin with pearl dust. Be creative! I used a paintbrush to fill in the areas. It starts to look like a beautiful stained glass window. Let it dry overnight. It dries faster if you put a fan on it. I'm impatient so I put mine in the oven with the door open on 175 degrees Fahrenheit for a few minutes. That's why my plastic looks a little buckled. It's best to be patient and just let it air dry. Here's a wing I've already put wires in. How pretty are these? We are going to line the long veins with wires. The gauge that you use depends on the size of your wings. I use a thicker wire like an 18 inch gauge on the outside like the top part of the wing and then a 20 to 23 on the inside veins. Attach the floral wire with melted gelatin making sure to only put the gelatin where the smart lace is. If you touch the gelatin with the gelatin window panes that are already dried, it will melt them. Use your fingers to press down the wire into the gelatin. The gelatin will start to dry out 
and it'll hold it pretty quickly. It works just pretty much like glue. 